Hello guys, welcome back to Cloud with Hero Lane. Uh, in today's tutorial, we are going to continue from the tutorial we did previously on buying a custom domain on Microsoft Azure. So if you follow along with uh, this previous tutorial, uh, buy a custom domain on Microsoft Azure part one, uh, we were able to buy a custom domain called uh, chimefula.org. And uh, in today's tutorial, we're going to focus on mapping an app service that we've already built out uh, to this custom domain. So if you're wondering how you can build a website on Microsoft App Service, you can check out the tutorial I wrote sometime in 2019 on deploying a WordPress application to Microsoft Azure as well. So this gives you uh, like a step-by-step -step instructions on how to Know, build a WordPress application on Microsoft Azure. Okay, uh, just go back to my portal. I've already you know created this app service, install WordPress, and you know be able to build some amazing website with it. I'll just show you a preview of how, what the website looks like. Yeah, uh, so Azure App Service gives you your this unique URL. You have your app service name dot Azure website dot net, so you can preview what you're building. But of course, I mean, we, we, we don't want to give our customers this or our, our clients this. So this this can be for just demo purpose. We need to just have a preview of how the website looks like and do some corrections. And if everything is okay with them, you know, you go ahead and map that custom domain you just bought for them sometime. Or you go ahead and buy a new custom domain and map it to the app service. So this is what the website looks like uh, and it's ready to be deployed. Of course, I mean, like it's ready to be mapped, it's already deployed, it's on the cloud, anybody can access it from anywhere in the world. Okay, but we want it to be accessed through a custom domain that we bought uh, called chimifla.org. So, this is Chimifla Research Center, uh, it's a center for Ebo research, documentation, and development. Okay, so back to our portal. So to map a custom domain, since we have already bought a custom domain, the first thing we are going to do is uh, scroll down on the left bar here where we have settings and click on custom domains. Once we are inside our custom domain, the first thing you have to do is to enable HTTPS only. So you, know, you, you want to make sure your website is as secure as it should be. So uh, you want to make sure that every request that is being sent to the website is redirected to HTTPS. So our website cannot be accessed through HTTP. Okay, we want it to be accessed only through HTTPS. So we want our website to be as secure as it should be. So HTTPS only enabled. Then click on the uh, plus icon right here or on the name at the custom domain. Uh, you have a window out uh, here. Uh, so I already know the name of the domain I want to map. I already bought it, so it's right here on my domain services. So I just go ahead and type it gmailfula.org and I'll click on validate. Okay, so it has, it gives me it gives me it gave me a uh, check mark, so meaning the uh, domain is valid. It's I've already bought it. It's right here. I'll go ahead and leave this hostname record on a record because I just buy the domain for the root folder. I don't have subfolders. Uh, now go ahead and click on add custom domain. Okay, so successfully assigned custom domain chimifla.org on chimifla. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So you have some uh, warning here. You have custom domains that are not secured and will cause browser warnings or errors when accessed over HTTPS. Uh, click on add binding to secure your custom domains now. Okay, so the error message here is saying that when people try to visit chimifla.org, uh, let's see, they're going to have some error right here on the screen that this website is not secured. So uh, visits on your own terms. So look at that. So attackers will be trying to steal information for chimofa.org and other right. so that. So, so the reason why this is happening is because we enabled HTTPS only. 
and we have enabled HTTPS only, but we have not been able to configure our uh, SSL and our TL TSL yet. So because our TLLs and SSL is not configured yet, that means the website is not yet secured. So there is no uh, security certificate installed on the website or on the server. So when people are trying to visit the website right now, they they will be, you know, they will have this error on their screen. We don't want this. So uh, because we don't want this, we will go ahead and do the necessary things. Okay. So we are going to add binding, SSL binding to our to our to our custom domain. So SSL stands for Secure uh, Socket Layer. And our TLL stands for transport layer security. So these are just protocols uh, when it comes to network. These are protocols that make sure that communication between two computers are uh, done securely. Okay, let's not go too deeply into that. So go ahead and click on uh, where you have TLS slash SSL settings. Okay, no problem. Click OK. Okay, so Azure gives you actually uh, a free SSL certificate for app services. And we're just going to make use of that. So go ahead and click on uh, private key certificate. Then here you have create app service manage certificates. Okay, go ahead and click on that. You have a new window open so uh, your host name is eligible of course it should be go ahead and click on create so uh, app service money certificates are free of course fully managed by app service to maintain the safety and security of your site at the highest level so go ahead and click on create flow that got the block hot shit super hot okay so here we are i hope you are enjoying yourself uh with our vibe from drake okay so uh successfully created our service money certificate for hostname chimingfla.org uh just gonna click on dismiss all so we have a certificate created so just go back to custom domains uh click on add binding Okay, so here you have it. It's up now. <laughs> Two certificates. Just going to choose the certificate. Uh, it, it has its own unique IDs and the name attached to it. Uh, certificate type. Say enable. So just go ahead and say SNI SSL certificate. Okay, so click on add binding. So this is configuring. And that didn't take a lot of time. Okay, so successful. Uh, go ahead and dismiss. And now we have our website configured and it has an SNI SSL binding. So let's go over to overview and check our new website with our custom domain. Okay, so you see uh, the dot Azure website has dismissed, <laughs> disappeared, and we have our custom domain right here, chimifla.org. So I'll just go ahead and click on that. And bravo, we have our website up and running, and uh, we can say we are good to go. Because now our website is up and running through the custom domain chimifla.org and anybody from any place in the world can visit our website and check it out. So uh, guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. This is exactly how you can you know, uh, map your custom domain to an app service on Microsoft Azure. Uh, so stay tuned and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. See you soon. Bye.